Hey, what's going on, guys? We are here on Madden 16, and it's Team of the Week time. Let's see what there is. Let's go to the auction house. Now, I'm pretty sure we have a Team of the Week, J.J. Watt, 90 overall running back. That sounds ridiculous. And there is a, um, a 94 overall, what's his name? Ryan Chazier. So let's check it out. All right, so here we go. Right here, we got J.J. Watt, 90 overall running back. He's already 136,000 coins. He's clearly not good. If we look at his stats, 87 speed, 97 trucking, 98 carrying. So he's not fumbling, and he is definitely powerful. 97 acceleration, 83 elusiveness, 87 juke move. And he even has 85 catching. He's a good receiving back. He's good all around, just slow. If he was faster, he'd probably be a pretty solid running back. But 87 speed's not that good, honestly. What else does he have that's, like, outstanding? 95 stiff arm. And what's, what's his strength? Because then that'll go really well. What does he have? 96 strength. Wow. That's pretty good, actually. And here he is, Shazier right here. 94 overall, Ryan Shazier. With his own defense style, that's pretty good. But he's 645,000. 94 speed, 95 tackling, 95 pursuit. 78 zone coverage, 95 hit power, 92 block shed. What's his catching? 74 catching. So pretty solid. And we're going to compare him to Luke Keegley. Um, so he obviously has the much better speed. He has better block shed, better hit power. Uh, we're gonna, I just want to look at the 84. Uh, it's, yeah, it's an upgrade, but uh, I don't know. He also has, compared to the catching, better catching. Uh, well, Kikui has better catching. And he has better strength, too. Wow. I didn't know he had better strength. Uh, pretty much the same tackling. Better jumping. Uh, more elusive. It's better juke move. Better power move and finesse move and block shed. He's pretty much really good all around. Less pursuit, though. And play rec. But he's better coverage. Uh, well, not zone coverage. But I would user him, if anything, so... Zone coverage doesn't really matter. And a 95 hit power. So... Eh, he's... He's alright. Pretty good. How cheap is this Watt now? I feel like he's the cheapest on the block already. No, he's not. Where is he at? Wow. More than the cheapest. 136k. He's probably gonna go down to, like, 50k. <laughs> um... I do want to compare the Road to the Playoffs Shazier. Here we go. We're going to compare the Road to the Playoffs Ryan Shazier with Luke Keekley. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same stats that are better against Keekley with the Team of the Week Shazier. So there really isn't that much of a difference. If you want to save coins... You might as well get this one. It's only one less speed. 93 speed is still really good. And he has, like, two less tackling than his upgrade one. Same jumping. What's his uh, other stuff? He has the same block shed as Keegley. So, honestly, if you want to save coins and you want to Shazier, you get this one. I mean, if you want to save even more, then you get this one, but he's slower. I would get the 89 out of all of them. But, uh... I have Keegley. He's better all around. I mean, Shazier's better for the speed and the user. But I like having Keegley to have the better tackling, the better awareness for when I'm not, and even the better zone coverage for when I'm not covering him, like when I'm not using him. And notifications are still on. I really need to, really need to pay attention to that. Let's see what other cards there are, though, in the Team of the Week sets. So let's see what we have. We have Ray Mauluga, 89 overall. Wow, he's a lot. 90,000. Set's really right to do right now. Uh, he's a lot. He's very slow. Wow. What does he have? 89, 85 speed, 89 awareness, 92 tackling, 77 zone coverage, 97 hit power alone. That's pretty good. Again, compared to Keegley. I mean, probably compared to Shazier. Shazier's better and everything. But, here's Ray Maluga. Next, we have Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams going for about. 50k? Let's see what he looks like. Ooh, 92 speed, 93 catching with a 93 catching traffic with a 95 spectacular. 
What's his Excel? 95 Excel? He would be good in a slot for, like, a cheap team. His price will definitely go down later. We're comparing him to just some really high overall cards. It doesn't really help. Compared to someone like this Heinz Ward. Yeah, he's better than he's better than this Heinz Ward. De he's definitely a good slot receiver, this uh, Devontae Adams. So if you get him and you want to use him, perfect for the slot. Let's see what we have next. We have Mike Newell, right outside linebacker. He's going for about 20k at the moment. This is about an hour after Team of the Week comes out, so you can put that in perspective. This price, th these prices are definitely going to drop. He has 80 speed, 90 tackling, 8, 86 hit power, and all that. You can see right there. Uh, compared to Vontez, perfect 90 overall though, not 93. He has 36. Ca no. Do not get this guy. And he probably has some good pass rushing stats, so let's look at this. Let's go all the way down. Let's see what we have. Yeah, 95 power move with an 88 block shot. That's pretty good. Good for blitzing your linebackers if you blitz linebackers. Other than that, no purpose at all. He's not good. And finally, we have Trey Waynes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy has really good speed. Ooh, the car looks pretty cool. Going for about 60k. 95 speed, yeah. With a 90 press, not bad. 91 zone coverage. Uh, compared to Patrick Peterson. Uh, yeah, not that good against Patrick Peterson. Not that good against DRC. Compared to Charles Tillman, though. Nah. I mean, it's three speed difference. I don't know. But, um, this, this guy's a good budget player, too. I mean, obviously, right now, 60K is not budgety. But probably within the next week or so. Prices are going to drop. And not to mention what the new bundle is. If uh, I'll bring over to the bundle. Topper even gives you a team of the week elite player, including chance at set heroes. So you get Calvin Johnson. You could get. Uh, who else is there? DRC. You get Eli Manning. Oh my god, who doesn't want Eli Manning? You could even get Ben Roethlisberger. There's so many choices. Alright, so now let's look at the upgraded cards. Got Chris Thomas, John Simon, Antoine Blake, and Nile. I feel like this Nile Davis right here is good. Going for about 20k right now. Wow. That's just because uh, he's cheap. Whoa, he is good. 95 speed with 92 trucking and a 95 Excel. Alright, so give it about a week and this will be a really good budget card. I'm telling you that now. What's his catching too? 80. Yep, he's going to be good. 80 catching. I would say if you need, if you're doing a budget squad. Got some low overall players. This guy's your running back. That's what I think. It's a 95 Excel with a 95 speed. And a 92 trucking. It's pretty good. Unless you have Todd Gurley already. I shout to start Todd Gurley. Then you're fine. Then you don't need anyone. Who else do we have? We have a Chris Thompson. I think he's fast. Right? Isn't he really fast? Ah, uh, not really. 93 speed. 98 juke move. 94 Excel. 93 elusiveness. Not bad. I mean... You're better off with the Niall Davis, even though it's one overall lower. What's his catching? ADA catching. So, that's what's... he He's a little bit better of a receiving back than, um... What's his name? And Niall Davis. Let's compare him to, like, Darren Sproles. Yeah, as you can see, um... I'd rather... Out of these two, I'd rather go with Chris Thompson. Oh, uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. He's a little carrying. I'd rather go with Darren Sproles, actually. But yeah, that's Chris Thomas Thompson. And then we have John Simon. 83 overall, going for about 15k. What does he have? 88 speed, 90 hit power, left outside linebacker with zone D. Ooh, not plus 5. And his catching is 61. Compared to Julius Peppers, 88 overall. Ah, uh, he seems better than Julius Peppers, but uh, I mean, he doesn't have 76 catching or 94 awareness. So, that brings it down. I'm still wondering how this Julius Peppers is an 88. He's slow as shit. In the low block shed. I don't know. And does he really good? Yeah, he has a really good finesse move. That's what it is. Oh, but so is this guy. John Simon has some pretty good uh, pass rushing stats, too. And so there he is, John Simon. Finally, we have Antoine Blake. 83 overall. Going for about 20k. 95 speed also. We got a lot of speed corners now, all of a sudden. 
But he has a low 68 catching, 91 man, 84 zone, 88 agility. And yeah, he's another cheap guy that has good speed. Kind of like this Bradley Roby here, but Bradley Roby also has low press, kind of like this guy too, so... Eh, it's whatever. Comparing to other players. Ooh, look at this compared to Chris Davis. Oof. Watch out, Chris Davis seems pretty good. Beware of that. Beware of that Chris Davis on the field. Going to end this video. Just wanted to show you guys the Team of the Week players. Um, probably going to have some more gameplay soon. I don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow with this team. But uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.